Sister Mary Bernard. Son of a bitch! <laughs> uh, hi! Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Bruno Brito. Today I'm going to watch a movie and stuff. And today we're going to continue watching Death Ball Drives. What happened in the last episode? Um, try to remember. Well, angry motherfucker, but I don't think that Andrew is gonna have a little problems anymore. Oh, the Apple White. Everybody's thinking that now they probably have something involved with all the guy that he was killed. People are starting to think that they are not who they say they were. Bree is getting. Bree, I think, is becoming alcoholic. Oh, Tom is unhappy. They're not gonna break up. This is not gonna happen with me. But also, very unfair that like Tom can handle like being six months doing uh, the job that Lynette was doing for years. But okay. We're gonna accept that. Which is something important to like to deal with. But like the problem is the reason, you know? Like, okay. And Susan is dating the doctor now. Susan is our own man. About the father. Susan's father was only two episodes. Being like, your father is alive. Hi, nice to meet you. Bye. That was it. Okay. We are there. That that's it. Well, well, I really hope you like this video. In case you do, you can subscribe, give it a like, and help me with 10,000 subs someday. I have a whole playlist of all the Dash Father's Wives episodes. And I have a page where I'm gonna post full reactions, early access, and post next videos. That's a link in the description. That's it. Let's go. So you came to ask me out? Cause oh, that's why. This is happening. Be known. <gasps> Wait. You think you good reason why I shouldn't call the police? Because I'm your son. All in the name of love. This is gonna come back. Here. How exactly? There was one thing, Edie. Oh, that looks delicious. The nature of war. After two failed marriages and countless... Ah, he's so hot, though. Terrible clothes, but so hot. Love was a battlefield. Yeah, I was thinking, a vacation to Rome? Vegas is cheaper. Ugh. Could you put your underwear in the hamper? Can you do it? Okay, he's an asshole. He's hot, but he's an asshole. That's my type. But the day comes for every soldier when she must... Oh, as if... ...and fight. It's time for my game. Kill him. My movie. Edie. It's my house. This is important to me. You see, when it came to me, I love your dress. Edie had a battle plan. You got five minutes for Edie. She's amazing. <sighs> oh my God! Really, honestly, look at this man. Well, it's not fun if it's not tight. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I wish. Whipped cream. <laughs> oh, you are so. She got. Oh my God! Look at him. No. She's gonna leave him there. Honestly, I will finish it him first and then I will come back to the war. Yes, Edie Britt understood the nature of war. <laughs> Edie, it's been 10 minutes! She also knew that to the victor. <laughs> Edie! Oh my god. Edie! Go the spoils. She's great. Cow is fucking up, guys. I can't. Honestly. I can't. The view was about to change. Dramatically. Oh, they're gonna put him? What on earth is he doing out? Caleb, get back down here. No, 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 we had a talk. It's fine. He understands. For him. I am keeping him safe. From the police, from the fosters. And for himself. He's not going back downstairs. Since when do you talk to me like that? Since I share the risk. Okay, but like, she, I mean, can we find a half thumb? You know? This is Herbert for spearheading the potluck dinner. Her hard work and tuna milk. Oh, that's right. Uh, about the kids. I forgot about that. Are some Knock it off. Knock what off? Babies, babies, babies. You sound like... Oh, Carlos, please, don't begin this again. It takes some time before I'm ready to get pregnant again. Any idea when you'll be ready? You know, ballpark? Stop it. Oh, Carlos, my God, really? We have a dear friend back from her missionary trip to tell us... Ah, shit. Sister Mary <laughs> Bernard. Son of a bitch! <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, Justin's here again. Fucking Andrew. Danielle? Oh! Okay. Honey, are you in there? Thanks, Mom. I was just doing a little research. He's not gonna come in? Oh, while I'm here, I must well grab some of your laundry. No, please, not right now. Honey, stop complaining. One oh, shit. I wish that someone were offering to do your laundry. <sighs> oh, shit, it's not his clothes. Fuck! <laughs> Danielle, question. Is there a black man hiding under your bed? 
I just thought you should know that I came home to find your son hiding underneath my daughter's bed. Ooh. It just seems to me that... <gasps> Inside. Right now. Yeah, she's a black mama, bitch. <laughs> I apologize for my son's behavior. It won't happen again. Busy fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> I am trying to salvage the pitch from the black's frozen yogurt. Can if we come back to work, they're not gonna have a lot of money to hire a babysitter. Come on, honey. Let's do this. Let's nail this sucker. What do we got? Ah, they are good team. Black's frozen yogurt. White black. Let your taste buds come in from the cold. Well, you know, whatever. I'm just knocking the rust off. <laughs> okay, black's frozen yogurt because our cows are better. Or no. That's actually good. What? Celebrity cow spokespeople. <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. What? Reverend Mooney. What do you what do you think of that? Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's be it. They can't all be gems. I mean, he help her. Uh, okay, so hey, Mike. Okay, I got him. Well, I guess I better get going. Oh, um. You don't want to come in? Uh, Julie's staying at her father's house, and um, I'm all alone here. Let's have sex. Sometimes it actually makes me a little nervous. You turn the TV on. That, that's what I. Wow. Do. Okay. Oh, I have a bottle of wine. Really relax me. <laughs> that, that's good. She's great, as soon as me. She's very direct. We're still good for Thursday? Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Thursdays. Bitch, I have my pussy wet here, okay? And I'm not certain how long it's gonna stay there. I have 40 years old. I'm so sorry for the swear word. And when I say I swear word, I mean 40 years no. old. Inches away from ripping off all your clothes right now. A and you're stopping yourself. Exactly. Still your doctor. And it's not quite ethical yet. Oh. Can you stop being my doctor? <laughs> Look, it's, it's only temporary. Once you're well and I'm done treating you, all bets are off. This doesn't make any sense. You're already dating me. What? Oh, what the hell? Exactly. <laughs> Bitch, motherfucker. Thank you for meeting with me. Sure. <laughs> my wife is gonna kill you. <laughs> okay, maybe I've been a little down lately. Tell me. Oh, no. It's all happened. Sister Mary, I just... I want them so bad. But Gabrielle still refuses to give them to Yes, because she had a miscarriage. Oh, you're right. You're screwed. Oh, I hate her. Unless... Oh, no, what? American Catholic's guide to annulments. Son of a bitch. Sister Mary, what exactly are you saying here? I'm saying... God helps those who help themselves. Okay, wow, well, if it was me... I will put the drugs on her bag and make her go to the airport. Hey, I got great news. We just landed the blacks. Oh, I love it close. Really? They love the pitch? How did they like my President Bull Clinton idea? Uh, well, um, essentially it's the same and they ate it up. Oh, congrats. Fantastic. Ah, he's so hot though. Yeah, and Ed said we can find I'm sorry, guys, I like men, okay? If you saw me for that, because again, Please, somebody make a compilation of me saying that men are hot in the whole Desperate Wives sequence. Long, so we cut a few things. I'm just glad they love my idea. It was barely his idea. I like the Hugh Heffer in the Plague House. They're calling me in for a meeting. I gotta go. Love you, bye. And it was his idea. It was only attacking cow, and that's it. So, it'd be over here. But because you're missing ligament structure, it has wandered over there right next to your liver. Yeah. This is dangerous. New exciting techniques where you don't even cut open the body. No, not really. No? Really? It's a surgery, really? So, so, uh, I'm assuming you're good with me doing the surgery, right? You? Okay, that's very intimate. The first time you'll see me naked, I'll be on an operating table. Well, I promise I'll be a perfect gentleman. My eyes will be strictly on the spleen. And also, you're not gonna recover it. You need to schedule Susan for a splenectomy with me. <sighs> oh, congratulations! Why? Well, I will call you later. Congratulatory? <laughs> oh, the spleen surgery. It'll be his first. Oh, forget it. That's if. As if, get out there. Susan, what? For her, and she, oh, this is gonna be a problem. This is gonna be a problem. Can we talk about something? Sure. Okay, why would, why would you guys like Violet Baudelaire? So and however long it takes for you to feel ready, I am fine with. Okay. What else? I wanna promise that we will have children. I'm sorry, I can't promise that. Exactly, how, how is she gonna promise that? Yeah, but you're just gonna have to accept it. There's nothing else you can do. That isn't necessarily true. You're kidding me. Excuse me. Don't say that. Don't say it. <gasps> oh, fuck. You are threatening me with an annulment? 
Who gave you this? I being little bitch put you up to this, didn't she? The only promise I am making you is that this is so not over. Kill the man. Coming for the new ad exec. Any luck? The pickings are slim. So far, none. Oh, I love that every time they arrive at home, they have to be. Do you have someone from your old company that you could, you know, maybe recommend? Oh shit. I'm Tom what? Tom Scavo. Oh. <laughs> I love that shit. They realized that. Come on, honey. I mean, the other night doing those pitches, it just got the old juices flowing. I remembered how much I missed having... Well, let me see the juices. With two incomes, we could afford a top-notch nanny. Wow, I just said that. Though. You're the one who fought for office daycare. Let's use it. What about the two well, of us working sense. and living together? I think that could be a recipe for disaster. Why? The last time that we were... Can I say? My best friend and his wife, that's also my friend, they really love to work together. Now they are not working anymore, but like for other reasons, work together with each other and they are a great couple we weren't fighting mom was just letting daddy know where he stands oh hey. that's unfair hey <laughs> okay so she's gonna have to hire him and susan's gonna have to let is this about trust the episode is about trust so who's up next tom cavos you ever heard of him tom mm -mm. cavos <laughs> tom cavos yeah it's an anagram it's deceptively simple, don't you think? What do you think? You only take that. I'm going over your head. Since, you know, he's not constantly competing with me. What? Okay. You would come home seething with resentment. Makes sense. That a little part of me has been hating you ever since you tanked my promotion at Peterson. Yeah, it makes sense. Excuse me. Ed's waiting for you guys. Great. Yeah. Great. <laughs> I was on that from the beginning. Oh, warning. Do not. Okay, they're gonna get this well. Love that! Oh, we gotta go. <laughs> uh huh. And and how long did you stay? Just about five months, actually. Why? What? No, I was fired. Oh. Yeah, but honestly, I was happy. <laughs> humor. Actually, no, my wife helped me on that one. But if you were to ask her, I'm sure she'd tell you she did the whole thing all by herself. It's not a felony for them to like lie about that. Hog, huh? I know the type. <laughs> you know what, Tom? Oh no. Like you. Oh shit. Ed. And I'm not usually one for hiring in the room. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think you're the guy. Lynette, you got any issues? Well. Oh, Lynette, the fuck. We'll be in touch, okay? <laughs> Jesus, evil! Oh, <laughs> God, I love that. How old are you, Ed? Yeah. Oh, um, I'm looking for Father Crowley. Oh, I love your clothes. Um, he's in the confessional. How long has it been since your last <laughs> Who cares? Father, it's me. Gabrielle? <laughs> Look, I need you to do something for me. I need you to get rid of Sister Mary Bernard. <laughs> she's asking their father like she's gonna do something. Hold me, Sister Mary, hold me. It's disgusting. He's like a lovesick puppy. What can I do about it? Your husband and Sister Mary are having sex. Yeah, confessed everything. Oh, shit. Right before he asked for an annulment. Oh, a divorce is against the church. She lied for a priest. <laughs> She's gonna go back and be like, okay, I just lied. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. How many Hail Marys is that gonna set me back? <laughs> Why are you crying, bitch? You better love him. Don't say you love him. <laughs> She's very dramatic. Go away! You wanted all this to blow up in my face. What? Soon you'll be so dried up and bitter that no man will ever want to touch you ever again. Okay, that was specific. Now you're determined to ruin my life, so I have to stay with you here. Ah, oh, that's right. I forgot that she's a teenager. Was for you to be happy. Don't just want it. Make it happen. How exactly? Because you're a teenager, now you're not gonna be happy. Now they are fighting. He's mad at you. It's a shame he can't see that girl. She's so pretty. No! Oh my god, I got you. You know I don't want you thinking about things like that. I'm sorry. How can you prevent his thinking? If I ever catch you looking at that Vandercamp girl, I'll hit you twice as hard as I hit your brother. I mean, she's no longer. He must be dangerous. <laughs> she thinks that he's bad with a knife. Because I think it's your fault. Susan, I know what I'm doing. You're gonna have to trust me, okay? I 
would like to. But, but I gotta be honest, the that's not fair. You overcooked it. Are you are you saying you don't want me to be your surgeon? No, I'm scared. I would be more comfortable with an experienced surgeon. It made sense. I didn't even serve dessert yet. You said you understood. No, I do. I do. I respect your decision to see another doctor. You do? You, know what? you need to respect Cut. I say that's what I do. And if that gives me an out of control ego, well, maybe I need that to cut into another human being. What? You're hired, right? I told Ed you were my husband, and he was cool with that. He really wants to hire you. Oh, okay. Really? So I got the job. On one condition. Where? What? Ever again, because if you do, and what I really need from you for her is to be forgiven. Actually, I already had. Congrats for the TV show. So, like, show a problem that it was really serious and it didn't let me forget him. This dinner is really good. Thank you. Exactly. Communication, people. Communication. Thank you. She's a good actress. I love her. Wow, congrats, that's amazing TV show, I love it. I love things like this, you know? Oh, no. Please, don't be over the camp, over the camp, no over the camp. Well, my fear is that if we keep them apart, they'll try that much harder to be together. Probably. We won't have to be the villains. What oh, she's gonna see. Best interest. I'm not afraid of being the villain. I assume that you would feel the same way, Brie. Oh, she saw this little person. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of papers. The one that broke into Gabrielle's and escaped from the mental hospital? Yes. He's there. Lynette, hi, it's Bree. Ugh. Why are you calling Lynette on the police? Call me when you get this message and please come to poker tonight. I have some big news about the Apple Whites. I love that she's calling them before the police. They just transferred her to a parish in Fairbanks, Alaska. Oh, so sorry. She's gonna be like, I want Excuse to me? to do it, right? What are you doing? I don't think I wanted to like have a husband who is a doctor because it's a lot of hours. He's gonna arrive tired. Unless you have a private clinic and you can only like be like watching three people at a time who's gonna pay a lot of money for doing some shit. Like Dr. Mike. Except the part where you talk, you do a lot of videos about the pandemic and then you go in a yacht with a lot of friends and then when you say sorry, you only say sorry in your second channel that it doesn't have the same amount of views. But that's only the details. I haven't felt this way about somebody in a long time. You're gonna say hello, Susan. We didn't have sex yet. I really like you. Oh, okay. Listen, I hope you forgive me. Can we have sex? Then I was gonna say, note. shit. What's going on? Are you hiding someone in your house? If you trust me, I could help you. How you could help? My family has secrets too. No. My brother did. Last year, my brother did something really awful, and my parents covered it up for him. You're kidding me. So you don't have to worry about me judging you. Oh, Danielle, really? Only because of a dick? A black dick, but like a dick? But you told me yours first. <laughs> she said goodbye. Bye bye, bitch. What are you doing here? I need to start smoking. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm happy to see you shipped off to Alaska. It was you. You had something to do with this, didn't you? Bitch, of course. Annulment. Mojo, is that why you did it? Yeah, I know your plan. Carlos will do what he wants. The problems in your marriage aren't going away. You're going away. But you certainly are. You missed a spot. <laughs> I love her. I really love her. Ah! Oh, okay. That was a mistake. Oh! Yes! My God! <laughs> there. I think we're all done here. Oh my god. <laughs> really? <laughs> Let's go, bitch. Hold <laughs> on. Jesus saves. Are you okay? That's it. <laughs> okay, the none problem is solved, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. What the hell were you thinking? 
Uh, depends. What have you heard? <laughs> they said you attacked Sister Mary. Yeah, that's about right. What are you thinking? Hide my fault, though. Sister Mary manipulated you into threatening me. Mort. I was not threatening. Yeah, you were. How do you think that makes me feel? Okay, I'm sorry about that. Exactly. Okay, we are having great communication here in this episode. You have to choose, and I wish you would do it so I can move on with my life. Well, of course, I choose you. Mm, I don't think this is gonna work out. The last time he changed your prescription pill. You know, I made a decision too. The answer to your question earlier is yes. I promise you. I want to have a baby. Really? I want to have a baby with you. Okay, let's have sex. A lot of sex. Oh, poker. Betty. Ah, oh, fuck her. I wanted to chat with you before you did something foolish. She's very threatening. The person you saw at my house today is my other son. His name is... Oh, she's gonna speak all the truth? Who happens to be slow. Sometimes he makes mistakes. <laughs> He's slow. The police are looking for him. He escaped from that facility they sent him to. He didn't escape. He had help, trust me. He drives ordinary women to do extraordinary things. Women like me, Bree. And like you. And like you. Oh, fuck it. Danielle. <laughs> that it was your son driving the car that killed Juanita Solis. Shit. Fuck her. We're going to be great friends, Bree. Yeah, something about the apple whites. Oh, shit. What's she going to do? It's rude to keep people waiting. She's not going to say it. Huh? Betty Applewhite is quite the poker player. Oh. So Hello, everybody. I am feeling lucky. Okay, a new partnership now. I raise. But for some, surrender yes. is unacceptable. Fight. Well, Bree. Bree's not gonna accept that. I'll raise you. To the death. This is gonna be the thumbnail. If, we, if the next episode doesn't have a great scene, this is gonna be the thumbnail. Just FYI for guys. Okay, that was Death for Virus. I love it. Wow. Daniel is stupid. Congrats to Tom, but I have the feeling that this is not gonna work out. But I really love the conversation about like forgiveness about what she did in last year. I really like that they stopped and talked about it. Well, Susan, nothing special this episode, okay? No, probably, my god. Probably. And Gabby, okay, Gabby, now you want to have a kid, okay? It looks like it changed very fast, but okay. Um, I mean, she was happy. She wanted the kid, like, in the end. So, like, let's see it. I mean, it's only having sex, like, right? She already got pregnant in one time. She can do it again. Next episode. The file on Noah's daughter. The discomforting news. Thanks. Oh, he's gonna come back, the cop? Tell me your secrets. I'll understand. Stupid bitch. Once a month, the creme de la creme of Fairview Society would attend... Oh, Jen Lynch! Glee. Oh, by the way, I watched the Glee movie. <laughs> God. Who was convinced Maxine was a liar. Dad, why? See, Maxine liked to brag that she did all her own cooking. And because each course was served... Okay, I got it. And was positively mouth -wise. Wow, okay, that's beautiful. And so sadly for Maxine, Brie intended to prove... <laughs> oh, come on. Do you honestly expect... <laughs> Perhaps you're just not as organized as I am. Oh, uh, okay. Let's go. Cool. Same recipe for English plum pudding. It takes six hours to prepare. Mm, plum pudding. This is not the pudding of an honest woman. Mm, pudding. Open up. What? Wait, what? <laughs> what? This is the very weird. Oh, beautiful. Founder. You're kidding me. She had to help her. Voluntary servitude. Reach your way. Reach there and chop you away. you away. See you in What the fuck? I'm like. Bree, what's going on? Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> Maxine had a slave. Oh my god, just like Carlos. I just can't believe it. But Bree could. <laughs> you see, yes. for her, the proof was in the put. <laughs> Her face. Okay, that was <laughs> that was great. The proof was in the pudding, very smart. The world is filled with unlikely friendships. 
Oh, he's gonna talk about Brie and Apple White? Oh. Absolutely no sense at all. Okay, they look like fun. We can see why these alliances form. After all, a shared purpose can give. Exactly, they are friends now. They're just great, by the way. What the hell's going on with you and Betty Apple? What's yeah, that? Like we're angry and we're not angry. I'm a little angry. Can we talk about <laughs> the fact that Danielle's dating Matthew? Yeah, that would get her. <laughs> I love them. Can't you sugarcoat it a little? I did. He had his hand down her shirt. <sighs> <laughs> When it comes to Betty Applewhite, I know what I'm doing. And you two are just gonna have to trust me. Okay. What a bitch. Edie, can you- I was sugarcoating it. <laughs> I mean, but she said, like, you have to trust me, okay. Oh, please tell me he's gonna be great, please. Oh! What, what, what? Yeah. Jump in every once in a while. Throw me some rope, you know, when Ed's on the warpath. I can't protect you. Okay, that's not professional. Farm fresh bike. I'm like a piggy out of you, too. You hate it, why? Pig actually eats the bacon? The whole cannibalism theme. Can he eat his up? More like my college fraternity where, you know, everybody wanted in, but we only took the coolest guys. You wouldn't play the tuba. Dabo, if you were my pledge, I'd have made you my bitch. Oh, you think so? <laughs> okay, what's happening here? You know what? I'm liking this whole fraternity angle. You know, let's talk about it over lunch. You're buying. Okay, but we, if we are working over lunch, it means that I'm still working, right? When's the moment that I stop working? Just FYI. Okay, what the priest is doing there? She's a Bernard's back. What's going on? Gabrielle, I want you to meet someone. What? The young lady who was forced to work for Maxine Bennett. Oh, the slave. Yes. Wow. I don't think that she's with That's Carlos right. now. He needs a place to stay. So I offered up our guest room. Carlos, can you stop messing around with slaves? Honestly, what, what the fuck? If I have a coin every time they mess around with slaves, I will have two coins, which is not a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. <laughs> You're the kind of person who would have turned away Mary and Joseph from the inn. They should have called ahead. Uh, the priest is used to her. She's gonna leave. <laughs> She's gonna leave. Can you blame her? Can you fight with her? Are you talking to me? Does this mean you finally forgiven me? Why no. should I? You betrayed this family and you're not even sorry. He could go to prison. Okay, where's Andrew? In this. Andrew will help her. Andrew will be in the side of me, right? Be nice and then she'll hand over all her secrets? You're not very smart. My stepmother told me that I was very lucky. These were weapons all women needed to survive in the world. So? You're stupid, is that it? So take good care of your looks, Danielle. You don't have any other weapons at your disposal. My God. Ah, Arthur. After the embezzlement, Lonnie let the policy lapse. Now he's in jail, and I'm gonna die. Susan. Shit. I'll get into it with the insurance. Oh, Lonnie's in jail. I don't need a loan. I need coverage. I mean, what if there are How much is it? What in the hell are you doing? Great. Say a little prayer. Puke's sake. What? I'm desperate. You're dramatic, huh? What you need is a husband. <laughs> what? The only way someone would have insurance. You could have a sham wedding on a Monday night and be fully covered Tuesday morning. I can't believe you're actually considering. What's your fair? All we have to do is find a guy who's willing to marry you. Fucker. Mike, where's Mike? I mean, I come to think of it, a little prayer might not be such a bad idea after all. <laughs> Pat, we're all here, so send the call in as soon as you get it. Tom, how old are you? You catch three of those, 200 bucks. Ah, perfect, great, this is gonna be great. Thrown by me. They gotta be catchable, big guy. Just let me- Really? That's one. Okay. Hey, that's not fair. Guys, please, that's- For her. Okay, that's a felony. That wasn't even catchable! You know what, maybe not? It's totally worth it. That's a felony. That's a lawsuit. Alright, well, you got me. <laughs> You're a little monkey man. Okay, they're gonna kiss you. What, what's going on here? What her? She's like... <laughs> oh my god, I knew it was gonna be a problem. Do you have to sit around all day? I mean... Can you she don't speak English, really. Western... What are you doing? I fix. No, this is... Oh, thank you. Fixed by an experienced tailor. You can't just... Holy crap, the stitching is perfect. Oh, she's great. Oh, they don't have a maid, is that it? By the way, who's cleaning the house? Did you make all of this? We have all of this? Oh, 
For me? I mean, we have all of this. It's delicious. Oh my god. Okay, where are we gonna put all of that? All this food, you know? So you know what they do to people in China who speak out against the government? Oh, shit. Forced labor camps. Isn't that awful? They're gonna hire her. They get to learn about freedom and democracy and stuff. Democracy. She just got done being a slave. And she wants to go back to China. Did she? We'll pay her whatever she wants. And the best part is with her resume, any wage will look good. <laughs> awful. What? A great body. And help spread the ideals and values of the United States of America. <laughs> uh, she's so American. Sometimes she is a little hard to stomach, but she means well. That's, that's... Oh, there she is. Oh, I really like her. Just talk amongst yourselves, and you two make a very handsome couple. <laughs> wow, she's great. Thank you, Edie. Edie convinced you to do this so quickly. Oh, she explained your situation to me. Okay, who are you? How do you know her? What the heck? <laughs> Why would you need a fake bride? Uh, I'm gay. Oh. I never can get my inheritance that much sooner. Oh. No, but emotionally, I want to make sure she's happy. Well, my errands. Susan, so you're pay accepted. Uh, likewise. <laughs> Are you pretty sure that's the fries? Okay, we're here. Wow, he's still alive. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Here's your mail. And your pills. Oh, more pills. Okay, why are we uh, taking care of him? He's not dying either way. Stop taking him pills. Where did this come from? I don't know. It was in with your other mail. <sighs> she did it. Get me the phone. She's great. The next morning, Bree came up with a plan to get to the truth. She's so desperate. Oh, she's gonna get inside the house, but it's very dangerous. I trusted her. I love that she has the keys of everybody. <sighs> Tell me about again. She's not home. I know. Um, I want to talk to you. I came to see you. <laughs> Guys, what the fuck? They wouldn't eat a donut out of the toilet. <laughs> okay, everybody's a teenager. I'm not gonna do this. Oh, Lynette, you're the one who told me to find a way to click with that. This is the best reason. Please, don't do this. We're waiting, Scavo. He's so unprofessional. This is my moment. Okay, I will not kiss you after that. I'm so sorry. So, Kayla, besides your mother and brother, does anybody else know that you're... Oh, that looks amazing. You're pretty. No! No! My room's downstairs. In the basement. You want to see it? No! Bree. I'm gonna pass out. Honestly, I'm very shocked. Brie is a... Brie is a conservative white woman. How is she stressing so much about black men? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Did your mother make you wear those? There's a reason. I don't understand. Why in the world would your mother treat you that way? Melanie Foster. I hurt a girl. And then she died. Oh. Yeah, that's why. Her name was Melanie. Melanie Foster. She was pretty. Just like you. Just like you. Ah! No, to, to, to a gay guy. <laughs> the doctor. People talk, so you, you're marrying a gay guy. Hey, 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 what's the problem? Because <laughs> I've got this wandering spleen and probably think I'm crazy, right? It's you, Susan, honestly. Susan, can you give me a minute? Oh, yeah. No, I'm sorry. Is that the same copper? What happened with him? Cut his head, head, hair. What do you want? It's not what I want, Delfino. It's what Noah Taylor wants. Your head's awful like that. Her daughter's not the one. I might want to check that out for myself. Shit. Tell him I'll be there in the morning. Okay, that was easy for him. So pretty. <laughs> really? Don't speak anything. You like my That's why I think you're stupid for not wanting to stay here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Could be around my nice things all the time. That's why I love America. Anything is possible. How many beautiful? It's not worth anything. You can have it. Oh, you really treat me too good. What? Oh, she's happy. I brush my hair. <laughs> <laughs> she's happy because she's being well treated here. Hi. Hi. Why do you have to feel that this is too easy? Oh. <laughs> 
That gay awkward. Ah, uh, Susan, this is uh, my best man, Stephen. He's also my life partner. Oh, oh hi. hi. Nice to meet you. Baby, be, be nice. <laughs> you understand that we're not really getting married, right? Insurance, I just don't have cancer. I have a wandering spleen. Which is awful. Awesome. Uh, let's just go to the chapel. Shall we? Again, why are you angry with her? I made a wedding cake. I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna eat it right now. Do you have a problem? You said she was sick. She I am sick. You to worry about my feelings half as much as you worry about your mother's. What is it gonna take to make you happy? Get married. Okay, I would love to see you two crazy Guys, it's only like one month, okay? And then I'll have a husband and insurance. Nobody gets hurt. <laughs> can Can I? Because you'll be selfish. So sorry. My hands are tied up. Ah, okay, it was too easy. Hi, Nito Kawaii. Oh my god, delicious. I'm really screwed. He's gonna do it, eh? Right? Well, why don't I just marry you? Uh, again? <laughs> Actually married. Look, Susie, I. What's the problem? So, what do you say? Where's Mike? You watching this? <laughs> Her. What the hell? This is a nightmare. Cool! <laughs> oh my god, Edie. Somebody call Edie. What are we gonna do about Edie? We can't tell her. She'd kill us both. Yeah, it'd be our little secret. <laughs> really, guys? This is not gonna work out. So you take care, okay? Why are you crying? No, oh. <laughs> oh, Carlos. She don't wanna leave. Oh, she will. Carlos, she wouldn't have been just a maid. She would have been the best damn maid ever. <laughs> uh. Hey. Something's going on. Oh, she don't want to go. With you, fatal. What? Someone comes later. She now thinks of you two as family. Oh. She's very lucky. <laughs> she's very lucky. Oh, we're gonna have our own slave. She's not even black, so that's okay, right? Gabby. Carlo, she thinks of us as family. <laughs> uh. Conference room in five. Toilet boy. <laughs> wow, for him. This is the way that guys do business. What? Please. Ugh. He made me his bitch. You're gonna have to resolve it. This is my company. If people want to work here, they play by my rules. What the fuck? Name your stakes. <laughs> Time for this. Ah, uh, what's wrong, Ed? You're scared of. Afraid a fight cap's gonna get beaten by a girl? Come on, big man. She's great. I love her. What? What's gonna happen? You know, Nobody works. Thinks that our shenanigans have gone a little out of hand. Uh, no, no, hold on. <laughs> Nobody ever supports her. Honestly, this company is awful. We've decided to settle the matter with a little test. If that's a felony, I think. One pound raw. <laughs> that you can. We're doing. <clears throat> so guys do business, right? Ah, she's a good wife. For her. Also, you can get a disease with that, with raw bacon. <laughs> this is not gonna be fun. No shame at all. For her. Okay, which one? How many we have? Wow, she's really doing it. <laughs> For her. Oh, it's losing the fun. <laughs> Nobody's having what? fun anymore. She took the bet. Can we go back to work? Okay. So, can this be a place? Okay, you need to go to the hospital. Fucker. <laughs> Oh, nice ass. Could you scrounge me up a bucket? Yeah, that's an awful boss. For the love of God, what the fuck? Oh, you're gonna eat raw pork. Caleb said a nice red-haired lady came to visit him. Come on in, Betty. <laughs> She's drinking wine again. The name, um, Melanie Foster came up. Yes, now she knows also. Exactly, boy. Nobody, honey, nobody get, gets boy. He lives with his father. Mother committed suicide. Oh, he said it. 
How did he end up with these people? Detective Sullivan can make it happen. You don't want to do that. No? Is that really the way you want to meet him? Exactly. You think he's going to be happy? He is my son, and I have to raise him as best I can. Oh, so he was always That's my slow. She said. Melanie was a girl. Yes. That Matthew dated. Oh. Oh, no, Danielle. No, Danielle. Caleb told Melanie he was in love with her. Oh, no, my God. He was, and she laughed in his face. Oh, she did. He tried to show her he was serious by kissing her. And she hit him. Oh, no, Danielle, fuck. He doesn't remember a lot of what happened after that, but he, he does know that he got very, very angry. My Caleb. He's a murderer. Killed Melanie. Yeah, we know this. Or worse, be put down for what was really my crime. For her, she blamed herself. I was supposed to protect him from himself. I am his mother. She's a great mother. She's a great actress <laughs> and a great mother. We're gonna understand her. The friendship. world is filled with unlikely friendships. Yeah, and I understand her. How do they begin? This is not friendship, okay? This is. Boss worker. When such kindness is offered, we're finally able to see the worth of those oh my God. previously written off. A bond has formed. Regardless, oh, they're friends now. Can understand it. No one understands this more than the lonely. Oh my God, no! It's what they count on. Wow, that's a big chin. Congrats. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I don't like Danielle, but she don't deserve this. Okay, that was that for her drivers. I really like that now Bad and Brie, wow, the difference of episodes, right? Bad and Brie now are friends. <laughs> that's it. Um, yeah, Kauri and Susan are gonna get married for the fucking surgery. Honestly, only Susan to have such a stupid disease. Yeah, I don't understand how Zach is gonna handle like that his grandfather is alive and he's gonna be like, he's gonna die soon, right? This, this guy is gonna die in this season, right? Gabi, Gabi wants a baby and now she has a new maid. That's not a slave because I think she's paying her, okay? But like, you understand the feeling. <laughs> Which I think is very wrong, but okay. Lynette. Wow, that was... What the fuck? She could... Okay, there's a lawsuit waiting for happen. Ed is gonna be... Ed is gonna go to bankrupt. Because he does a lot of stupid shit. Lina said to her that he's a teenager. And she was right. <laughs> Lena was not a villain. <laughs> I mean, kind of. <laughs> well, that's it. I can't wait to finish that, that episode because it looks like Caleb is trying, is trying to like Daniel. Fuck shit. Okay, that's it. Well, thank you so much for watching this video until here. I really hope you like it. In case you do, you can subscribe, give it a like, and help me with 10,000 subs someday. And also, I have a Patreon I'm gonna post for reactions, aliases, and post on that videos. That's it. Thanks so much. And bye. Also, kids, don't eat raw pork. <laughs>